Sometimes you'll see in a police detective show, I got the first three letters of their license plate. Well, that is the like command. It doesn't have to equal the entire license plate. You can use the like command to say, like A, B, C percentage. And now if it started with A, B, C and then anything after that, it's going to bring the row back. You see, there are two wild cards with the like command. And these won't work with between or anything else. Any other command, it's only the like command where you have a percentage or an underscore. We'll understand both here through our examples. In our example here, where last name like SM percentage, anybody whose last name starts with S and then is followed by an M, like Smith, Smythe, Smoth, Smittenson, Smithsonian, they're coming back. Here we're going to see the underscore and the percentage used with the like command. So you're going to get a real good understanding of this. You see, here's the real scoop on it. An underscore means a wild card for one character. A percent, it's a wild card for any number of characters. So here, as you can see, where last name is like underscore, a percent means there will be any single character in front of the A. So in other words, any last name that has an A in the second character is going to come back in this case. Now you're seeing some SQL you probably haven't seen before. Now this is not ANSI standard, but it works on many of these databases. Take a look at this, where last name like all and then I've got my parentheses, and I've got an M, and I've got an S in there, followed by the wild cards. So anybody whose last name has both an M and an S in it is coming back. And it doesn't have to be the M before the S. MS or SM, anywhere in the last name, if those two letters are in that last name, those rows are coming back. Here's another slight variation like any. Now, anybody whose last name has an M or has an S is coming back. You need to be careful about case. Sometimes letters are capitalized or they're lowercase. In some systems, it doesn't matter. Some systems, you can have two different modes. In a Teradata system, for example, you can have Teradata mode where there's no case sensitivity. It doesn't care if it's capitalized or not. But in the ANSI mode, oh, it cares a lot. Wait a minute, this is capitalized, this is not. So just be careful to learn about your system and if it is case sensitive or not. You see, in this example, we happen to be working with a Teradata system, and we're in Teradata mode, so it's not case sensitive. Even though we have a capital S and a little m, notice those names. They didn't care if it was capital or not. They came back if they had an S or an M in them. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.